Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user well, manual back. for the uh, second half John of and your life. John and I are here with Doctor Liz Lister, Doctor MD, for another session of important information on how to stay healthy. Good, Doctor Liz. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thank you. Likewise. Um, I brought up the subject with Art recently about supplements, and I'm a big supplement. I take uh, besides my uh, prescription remedies. I take, uh, I don't know, lots of vitamin C, vitamin D, fish oil, CoQ10, stuff like that. I don't mind drinking a lot of pills every day. But Art, generally speaking, doesn't take any supplements. Well, he just I, doesn't bother. Well, that's not exactly true. Now that I'm a shut in on the quarantine, <laughs> I've been taking a multivitamin, <laughs> but don't cookies, although that's not vitamin C. <laughs> That's a, Ritz cookies, crackers don't count. Crackers, not, uh, not, not, that's not. And a Oreos, a. even even the vitamin double o? stuffed Oreos. Vitamin O. <laughs> okay, but Liz, maybe maybe yeah. Supplement? Yeah. <laughs> don't let me stop your discussion of Oreos and Ritz crackers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> by the way, Liz, by, by the way, or, Oreos are vegan. You can go to the Pe uh, Peter website and that, and I think Cheetos and other things that don't sound right. Or actually or, vegan. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're focusing on the important thing, which is the cookies. Oh, wait. No, there was a supplement. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, I do. I do take supplements. I have incorporated nutritional supplements into my own personal program, as well as with my patients. About the last 10, 12 years or so of the 30 that I've been a doctor, you know, we don't learn a lot about it in American medical schools. However, uh, there is abundant scientific support and data for nutritional supplements to uh, to support their use. What kinds of supplements do you recommend? I am a huge fan of vitamin D. Uh, everyone that knows me knows that I spend a lot of time talking about vitamin D. Uh, it's almost impossible to take too much vitamin D during this time that we're um, we're, that we're in now, dealing with the pandemic. I just want everyone to boost their immune system. A lot of people are not spending as much time outside, uh, which in any case, most people don't get an optimal level. There's a range of vitamin D level on a blood test, and a lot of patients that I see they came in just barely at the bottom of the range, and really it's better to be near the top of the range. Okay, so minimum for a daily dose of 5,000 units a day is generally what I recommend. Uh, some people will take less than that, and they'll feel a difference with that. I just uh, wrote that down, 5,000 units. Yeah, everyone, anyone listening can write that one down. Uh, I personally take a 50,000 unit capsule once a week, that keeps my level up around 60. The range is usually 30 to 100, but a level above 60 is generally a good place to be. And then if we're dealing with any kind of illness, it's okay to use more. But uh, you, people can OD on vitamin D? It's reported in the medical literature, but only in people who were taking more than 300,000 units wow. per week. Wow. It really really takes a lot to overdose. Okay, so vitamin D is one. Another supplement that I recommend is a good quality multivitamin. Okay, the one that I'm currently recommending that I like is one that I have for my patients. This is one that includes all of the different vitamins and minerals, and then it also has some other ingredients that support mitochondrial function. The mitochondria are the parts of the cells that are like the little energy factories and are responsible for uh, cell function and tissue healing and energy and mental clarity and all kinds of uh, features that we want to experience. So a good quality mito, uh, mitochondrial supporting vitamin as well. Now, do, do you mind mind mentioning the brand that you're of the multivitamin absolutely the one that i have that i like is called mitocore mitocore and this the the brand of supplements that i use with my patients are what we refer to as a pharmaceutical grade of supplements 
uh, studies, there's been studies that have shown that if you go to like a Target or a, another store like that that doesn't specialize uh, in these kinds of supplements, that the bottle might not even have in it what it says. For example, the dose won't be the full dose. Okay, so the supplements that I have are only sold through doctors. So it's a degree of quality control that I want and insist on for myself and my family and my patients. So if I wanted to get this multivitamin, I'd call you up. Yeah, absolutely. People can go to my website. The It's the drlizmd.com forward slash shop, S-H-O-P. So the shop has all the supplements that I carry and uh, that – that I support with a few of them highlighted. The Mitocore is highlighted. Uh, some of them are discounted. That one is for right now because I want people to be using that one now. Okay. Also a good probiotic. Very important. So can you tell us uh, a little bit more about what probiotics are and why? Absolutely. First of all, uh, many people know that the gut is the seat of our immune system. It's responsible for the majority of our body's ability to uh, fight off illness, to bring in nutrients and produce antibodies to the right uh, invading infections and hopefully not antibodies to foods that the gut doesn't like. Okay, so a probiotic is going to have different strains of the good bacteria that normally live in our gut. Well, we want to keep, uh, make sure that we're replenishing that. There isn't great science about what time to take the probiotic, day or night. Uh, I personally take mine at bedtime, and that's what I recommend to patients because I just imagine the probiotic doing its activity uh, overnight while I'm sleeping. You can also picture those little buggers rolling around your gut at night. Exactly. You know, that, that would keep me up. Uh, also, um, uh, you you actually have a virtual practice uh, for a lot of your uh, uh, patients. Um, yeah. uh, do you discuss uh, these? Do you, is this part of your practice as you consult on supplements and things so that people can remain healthy? Yeah, absolutely. So the majority of my focus has to do with balancing hormones. Good nutrition, supplements can help. Bioidentical hormones can help. That's the, the main emphasis uh, of what I do. And even though I didn't learn a lot about nutrition, out of four years of medical school in my uh, American medical school, uh, we had one week of training in nutrition, which everybody knows is nowhere near uh, doing it justice. So over the years, I've taken it upon myself to learn the science, learn a lot more about uh, herbal ingredients, and nutrients that are very, very important to our health. This is wonderful information, Dr. Liz. Very, very helpful. Um, and of course, you don't have to convince me because I'll take whatever supplement comes along. <laughs> right. Well, right, and everybody in between. That's why I think it's so funny that you are sort of the ends of the spectrum. I'm probably in between the two of you. I like to help people kind of target what they're taking and make sure that it's actually serving a particular purpose and not just the new supplement that comes onto the market. There's a really interesting study called the 90 plus study. Have, have you guys heard of that before? No, no, no. It was performed in what used to be leisure world and is now Laguna woods. Oh. <laughs> right near art. Yeah. Right, right in your backyard art. And this was a study that was done with the residents there uh, it was done a few decades ago originally, and then the binders were put away in a closet. And I went to UC Irvine Medical School, and I was reading about this uh, because a doctor at UCI found the binders. And what they decided to do was go back, and this was about 30 years later now, to study, do physical exams and cognitive testing on the residents that were still around. So they're all now in their 90s. Mm. It's super fascinating. People can easily find it online by looking up 90 plus study. All right. And the bottom line about supplements was that it really varies. 
Okay, that was not consistent. Uh, what was consistent for the people who lived into their 90s is they weren't too overweight and they weren't super skinny either. Okay, so that's interesting. Also, they kept active and they kept engaged. They were walking, they were gardening. They So those were the two things in common. Supplements was not... The, there were all kinds, people who didn't take any and didn't believe that they help, and people who take handfuls, and that didn't seem to make the difference. My interpretation of that is that we're all eventually, probably sooner than later, going to have genetic testing, little finger stick and, or cheek swab, and you can tell your genes and know which supplements and nutritional support is going to be helpful to you. That's coming. Well, Wouldn't then, that be great? Yeah, and John, you may have to build an extra shed to <laughs> store all your supplements, and I <laughs> will go right. out and walk in the sun and be able to get rid of my vitamin D uh, uh, tablets. <laughs> well, why would I want to go out, Art, when I can pop a bunch of pills? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, this has been a great session, as always. and Very helpful. Yeah, and we look forward to uh, our next visit with uh, Dr. Liz. Thank you very much. Stay safe, You're stay welcome. healthy. Now, before before we go, Art, uh -huh. I, I, Liz, if you would be kind enough to give me your website where I can go to order your MitoCore formula. It is Dr. Liz MD. So www.drlizmd.com. For any of the supplements, do drlizmd.com forward slash shop. Good. Thank you and for you repeating that. I have one last question. Uh, is there um, any limit? You know, you can't buy more than one, one uh, package of toilet paper at uh, Costco anymore. Uh, will John, because of our special relationship, be able to order a thousand bottles so that he can hoard them? I would have to pull some strings. I bet I could do it, John. Don't worry. I got you. I okay. Got you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Dr. Liz. Well, until the next time, thank you very much uh, for sharing with our uh, uh, audience, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Likewise. Take care. Stay safe. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.